here. You're going to watch the video up here on the screen. When the question pops up, I'm going to ask you to go to the question. So, uh, do you think that 156 is a reasonable answer for 243 minus uh, 87? So, one thing I notice here is, again, we're using those words bigger and smaller. So, it must have something to do with that when we're subtracting whether an answer is reasonable. So, let's take a look at maybe some of our answer choices here. Andrew talked about how I think it's reasonable because the number got smaller like it is supposed to. Can you kind of expand on that a little bit, Andrew? What do you mean by that? What do you know about subtraction? Oh, when you subtract, it gets the number of the answer gets smaller. Okay, and is that what happened in this problem? Yes. Okay. Anybody want to add to Andrew's answer? Do we agree, disagree? What do we think about that? Mm, Nicole? Um, I agree because um, if the bigger number on top, you can subtract small number and it can equal the number what's on the bottom. Jessica said, I think 156 is a reasonable answer because 87 is closer to 90 and 90 is closer to 100. So she's kind of using those thoughts of uh, friendly numbers and how that can help us figure out the space in between two numbers. So using the, the idea of rounding to help us to estimate.